morning, friendship. Good morning. Good morning, friendship. Good morning. Good to be in the house of the Lord once again. I want to say good morning to the mothers, deacons, trustees, ministers, brands out there. Hope y'all had a good uh, week. Hope the Lord's continuing to bless with you and, and move you and move you over to something better each and every day. We're going to bring some songs of joy to your life today. I want you to sing along. I want you to have a good time. Because in these difficult times, every day is a good day. Woke up amen. this morning. All right, amen. Because when you rose, you felt like talking. You might felt like running. Yes. You might feel like singing. Yes. You might feel like having a joyous occasion this morning. Amen. So I want y'all to run the songs with us and then have a good time. Kick your shoes off your feet. Relax. You're in the comfort of your home so there's no excuse. I don't need no super saints. I need some regular old fashioned saints. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
brought me this far. I don't, I don't believe. believe. He brought me this he far. Me on this I journey. don't believe. He brought me this far. Just to I me. don't believe. He brought me this far. I don't believe. He brought me this far. Give God some glory in the house because he's worthy 
of every praise, honor, and glory. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that I made it through this week. If it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, God knows where would I be, God. So, my Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We bless your holy name because you're worthy of every praise, honor, and glory. We bring you greetings from Friendship Baptist Church where our pastor was the late Dr. Benjamin J. Cardwell. You are in the process now of trying to find someone that will lead thy people. So, y'all pray for ship friendship as God take us to the next level. Uh, we've gone through our candidates, and then we're going to bring a few back. And from there, we'll let God lead us about who he wants to lead his people. Oh, come on, let's bless his holy name this morning. Come you know, it's time to praise the Lord. I just pray this song just been on my heart. I just want to sing this song. It's time to praise the Lord. It's time to praise the Lord. Oh, no, don't you wait. It might be too late. It's time. The Lord. Oh, come on and sing with me, y'all. It's time to praise the Lord. It's time to praise the Lord. Oh, no, don't you wait. It might be too late. It's time to praise the Lord. Oh, come on, it's time to magnify. It's time to magnify Him. It's time to magnify Him. Oh, Come on, it's time to lift him up. It's time to lift him up. Oh, come on and lift the Savior up. It's time to lift him up. Oh, no, don't you wait. It might be too late. It's time to lift him up. You know what? I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising the Lord. Oh, come on and praise him with me, y'all. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising the Lord. Oh, it's time, y'all. It's time to praise the Lord. It's time to praise the Lord. Oh, no, don't you wait. It might be too late. It's time to praise the Lord. I just can't stop. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising the Lord. I just can't stop, y'all. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising him. I just can't stop praising the Lord. Oh, it's time, y'all. It's time to praise the Lord. Oh, come on, and lift him up. It's time to praise the Lord. Oh, no, don't you wait. It might be too late. No, no. Let's give God some praise in this house this morning. It's time to praise the Lord. It's service time here at Friendship Baptist Church. Hallelujah. We're going to go into prayer right now. Maybe somebody out there needs a special prayer. Nobody, somebody's hurting. Somebody's child didn't come home last night. So God, right now, we're going to take it to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, my Father, how great is our name, my Father. High above the earth, my Father. High above the heavens, God. We come to you this morning, my Father. Some of our hearts have been broken. Spirits has been crushed, my Father. Some of us are just going through, God, but we're laying all our cares at your altar, my Father, so you might get the glory out of our life, God. So right now, God, we ask you, my Father, to watch over every one of us, my Father. I ask you, my Father, to watch over our children, my Father. As school is out, my Father, build the hedge protection around them, God. God, right now, I ask you right now, my Father, to watch over every parent, my Father. My Father, give them the resources they might need, my Father. They might lead their children, my Father, to the path of righteousness, God. I pray right now, my Father, for the sick, my Father. You said if anyone is sick, let them call on the elders of church. Anoint them with oil and any sins they have committed. Lord, they shall be forgiven, God. God, so I pray right now for a divine healing, my father. Pray for the sick and shut in, my father. God, I've seen you do it so many times, my father, that you have brought us through seen and unseen dangers, God. So God, right now, we thank you for what you've done and what you're about to do, God. My God, I ask you to watch over the bereaved family, my father. Some family out there is hurting right now because it's an empty place at the table, God. So I pray for the bereaved family, my father. You said you are close to those whose spirits have been crushing, those hearts that have been broken, God. So I pray right now that you would mend the pieces of their lives back together again. I pray for the leaders of this church, my father. 
I pray that you will touch him in a mighty way, my father. I thank you for the spirit of um, Deacon Henderson, my father, that make sure Sunday after Sunday that the service are being prepared, my father, that everything does decent in order, my father, just how you might like it, God. God, I even thank you for his other hand, Sister Vi, my father, just stands alongside of him, my father. I pray that you will bless her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, my father. Heal her body, my father, in Jesus' name. I ask you also to watch over Deacon Owens, my father. Keep him, my father. Strengthen him on every side, my father. I ask you even to watch over his wife, my father. Just send healing to her body, my father. Let her know that she's not alone, my father. That you walk with her, God. That healing is the children's bread, my father. Feed her till she wants no more, God. I pray, my father, for all the sick, my father. I pray, my father, even how you brought Sister Crystal through, my father. Because it shows me what you can and cannot do, God. You can do anything but fail, God. So, God, we thank you, my father. So, God, right now, I ask you, my father, to heal the land, my father. You said if my people who were called by my name will seek my faith, turn from the wicked ways, and pray, and then you will hear a word from the Lord, God. So, God, right now, I pray that you will send a healing, my father, to the land, God. We realize, my father, so many things are happening, my father, the devastation, my father, that's in Ukraine, my father. I pray for those that have authority over me, my father. So, I'm praying for President Biden, my father. He makes the correct decision with the war and with America, God. I pray that even for President Zelensky, my father, that he realize that we're not his source of help, that you are God. I pray that you will salt from food and salt, my father. And my father, let him cease fire, my father, because what does a man profit the game? The whole world will lose his soul. So that's what we are, because we realize in the steps of a good man is doing it by the Lord. You delight in his ways, my father. So right now, God, I ask you right now to keep us, my father. Strengthen us on every side, my father. There's powers and numbers, because one can chase a thousand, two can put ten thousand in a flight, God. So my father, we come together, my father. We can get some things done, God. So right now, my father, service time here at the Friendship Baptist Church, my father. So I pray, my father, that the word that might go forth, my father, they will lay on good ground, my father, that somebody might not let leave out of here the same way that they came in, God. I pray right now, my father, that you will bless us and keep us, my father, as we move on to the next level, my father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to do a scripture. It's going to be a short scripture. So if you have your Bibles with you, can you please turn to Psalms? It's going to be Psalms 134. Lessons for the night watch. Psalms 134. Behold, bless ye the Lord, ye all the servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord has made heaven and earth and bless thee out of Zion. I have read for you um, the entire scripture of Psalms 134. The Lord is already blessed. Amen. Amen. So right now, I'm just going to have a short prayer before I even go into the word right now. There's so many that's out there sick. I just want y'all to, uh, to keep our church members lifted up in prayer. Uh, so many things are happening this week and happening last week. Uh, I don't know. All we can do is pray. We need prayer more now than ever, so we must pray. And, you know, if you're possible, pray for the less fortunate. Check, you know, as summer comes and it's getting hot, check on the seniors out there because you never know. Um, when somebody's going through, a lot of times, you know, their body overheating, they don't realize how hot their house is. So check on the scene, y'all, because, you know, they brought us through. Those are the ones that we must look out for. So right now, I'm going to um, come with the word. <clears throat> if you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to, this is a familiar, we say it all the time, passage, Isaiah 54. And I think I'm going to start at the... Now, I'm going to start right there where I'm going to start. I'm going to start at Isaiah 54. I'm going to start at verse 17. Mm -hmm. No weapon is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against thee in judgment shall con condemn. This is the heritage of the, of the service of the Lord, and the righteousness of me, says the Lord. No weapon, y'all. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. That's where my text is coming from this morning. Let me give you a little background about this uh, about this text. See, the prophet Isaiah delivers a message from God about restoration of Jerusalem. And after its destruction by the Babylonians, the people would be in chaos and confusion by the Lord's promise of future day when the city would be um, more glorious than ever. God's people would return to their land and live um, there without fear of further devastation. See, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the service of the Lord, and the righteousness of is for me, says the Lord. And saying that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, God promised the people of Israel that no enemy will be able to produce successful weapons against them. In other words, God is in control and has created the ones... <laughs> That created the weapons 
and you will see <laughs> see that whatever happens, the weapons are well devised. Israel's enemies will be ineffective against them. But no weapon will be able to hurt you. You will be able to answer for all who accuses you. And you will defend my service and give the victory to the Lord. And God has spoken. Oh, come on, somebody. You see the enemies are busy already. <laughs> but like I said, no weapon formed against us shall prosper because we're more conquerors than Jesus Christ. See, you always have to have a backup plan. And see, as long as you serve God, it comes with benefits. Because the benefits come belong to the kingdom of God's people. See, God has destined us to win. No matter how hard the devil fights us and keeps on holding on, keep on holding on to Jesus. Jesus will make it all right. I need to speak to your heart this morning and tell you about the fear, about tell you to don't fear and don't give up because there's a promise for you. Many of you have been afflicted. The church has been afflicted. The people of God have been afflicted. But I come this morning to give you comfort. See, God begins to tell the Israelites, the church of the, of the Old Testament, that you were in distress. He heard their distress and all their needs. He said, don't worry, I got you. Everybody that has teamed up against you, it won't work. Some of you have experienced some tough times and you might even be devastated this morning. But don't worry, remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. God is hurting along with you. He said he feels the same thing that you feel. And he will perfect the things that concern you. We don't have a high priest who cannot be touched by the feelings of our infirmities, but with all points are tempted as we are yet without sin. God does not stop here. He begins to prophesy and tell you how things are going to turn out. See, he doesn't say that the weapons won't form and they, things will happen. But guess what? It won't work. Hmm. It won't work. Tell your neighbor it won't work. It won't work. I praise God um, in here this morning for uh, verses 15 and 16 with his ability to control our enemies. See, God uses a blacksmith, the one that made the weapon, the destroyer, the one that goes out and fights with the weapons. He has to understand that we are in warfare, y'all. We are in a spiritual warfare, y'all. See, the blacksmith that is making the guns in the streets, come on, y'all, and the ones that take them to the store and then they sell them to somebody whose mind is confusing the rain. Even then, they have to get destroyed. Then when they try to destroy y'all, it won't work. Tell your neighbor it won't work. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what somebody might say. It just won't work. You can try everything, but it don't work. Because see, I'm covered by the blood. Because see, the blood of Jesus still works. See, the gun was already made. See, the knife was already sharpened. But see, God kept me all this week. Somebody didn't make it through, but God kept me all this week. God said it wouldn't work. See, God created the one that made the weapon. See, the one that even used the weapon. He knows everything about the weapons that are trying to be used against me. Well, come on, somebody. Let's give God some praise in this house because I want you to realize it's a fixed fight. See, it's already won. Tell your neighbor it's a fixed fight. Or I come to tell you that you can be assured yourself that the victory is yours today because without God, we are nothing. See, God is on our side, and he will fight every one of your battles, and he will make you hold your peace. You don't have to lift up a hand. Don't get discouraged when the enemy comes in like a flood because we serve a God that will lift up his standard. Because see, no weapon formed against us shall prosper because we're more conquerors than Jesus Christ. I don't care what anybody might say. I don't care what the naysayers. I want you to be encouraged this morning and let you know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I don't care what somebody might say or even what the fortune tellers, but I serve a God that sits high and looks low and he knows every strand that's on the top of your head. So don't even worry about what somebody might say. Well, I heard this and I heard that. I don't feel because I'm trusting God. Even when it seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, I'm still going to trust God because I realize no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bless God in the house this morning because he's worthy. I want you to know that the fight is fixed and let your nerve know that it's already won. Because let me tell you, it was some money that trans tra transferred this morning. It was some money that was transferred because the fight was already fixed. See, he, Jesus paid the price way back on Calvary. He paid the blood. He shed his blood for us way back on Calvary. So we don't have to worry about a thing because he paid the price a long time ago. Oh, come on, let's bless his name. Let's thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah, because he's worthy. See, I'm in my winning season. See, it doesn't matter because, see, the blood all the blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. Hallelujah. I thank you for the blood because I realize the blood still works. It doesn't matter how weak you might be. God said I'm, you're going to win. I told you it was a fixed fight. Any winners in the house because we're coming up winning. I serve a mighty God. 
Your arms are too short to box with God. See, things are going to work out in your favor because we serve a God that's good. God said, don't worry about the fight because it's already won. See, it's a fixed fight. So tell your neighbor, in the end, I'm going to win because I realize that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. See, I remember Mordecai. Y'all remember Mordecai? See, when he plotted against him to hang him and God uh, worked it out in his favor. See, God flipped the script and he took, look what happened to Haman. See, even when Shadrach, Meshach was in a fiery furnace, oh, look what happened. Or even when Paul and Silas was locked up in jail and something about midnight, so chains began to fall off. Something about midnight when things started to happen. Remember when Daniel was in the lion's den. See, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. See, your God always has a plan. He will always give us a way of escape. So don't listen to the naysayers. Trust the one that will keep you, that's able to keep you from falling. But it's nobody but Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's bless his holy name. See, God will flip the script. He will flip the script. And everything that your enemies try to do to you, guess what? It's going to turn right back on you, them. See, God's people, see, we belong to the kingdom. And see, we belong to the kingdom. It comes with benefits. I mean, no weapon. I will send it back to the sinner. See, I serve a God that saved me. Jesus will build a fence around you every day. I want you to, to protect me as I travel along the way. See, I'm covered by the blood. See, the blood of Jesus is still works. The blood that covers me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And it covers a multitude of sins. So it doesn't matter because you remember back in uh, when the, they was going through, when they was putting the blood on the, the post of the house. And when the dead angel, he passed the part of the house. Because remember, mark your house. We have to understand one thing, that we're covered because the blood is still over my doorstep. And God is going to protect me from seeing and unseen dangers. I don't care what the naysayers would say. I'm serving God. I'm going to give him everything I got. I pray without ceasing. It doesn't matter what people say. Keep your mind focused to see that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to come and say, you're not worth it. He wants to take you back to a place and say, oh, I remember then. He said, he will remember when I was a drug addict. I remember when you was a whoremonger. I remember when you didn't have clothes to put on, on your feet when your bills and your lights got cut off. It doesn't matter. But they will take you back to the place. But when I look back over my life and I see how far God has brought me, I realize it was no weapon formed against me, shall prosper. It was no, nobody but God that brought me through my seed and unseen David. So I'm going to trust him with all my life and I'm going to give him everything that he might need. I'm going to pray. I'm going to serve him. Whatever he wants me to do, God, use me. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah, because he's worthy. He's worthy every praise, y'all. It doesn't matter. I just don't care because right now I look at the world and the different things that's coming up against us. But I realize there's no weapon. People are getting worried, worried about economy, worried about gas, gas, and worried about this. But I serve a God that will supply every one of my needs according to his riches and glory. So I got the lack for anything. You see, I once was young, but now I'm old. And I never see the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging bread. Girl, I'm not begging because my daddy owns a, a, a cattle on a thousand hills. Because my daddy is rich with houses and land, and he holds the power in his hand. Well, come on, y'all. Let's bless his name because he's worthy, y'all. He's so worthy. See, the devil will always try to bring up your past, but it doesn't matter. He would even try to bring your family, your friends against you and plot against you, but it doesn't matter because I serve a God. But I'm going to stand fast. I'm going to be all unmovable, always abiding in the word of God because he's the only one that will help me make it through. See, we have to be more strategic, y'all. See, the enemy is up on his game, so we got to be up on ours. You cannot, it doesn't matter about what the enemy say because I'm on the Lord is on my side. Greater is he that is in me that is in the world. See, there's nothing that you can do to me because I'm covered by the blood. You can't hurt me anymore because I'm covered by the blood. It doesn't matter because I realize no weapon. You can have all the guns. You can have all the knives. You can have all the sticks. You can have all the back. Whatever you can have. But it just won't work because I serve a mighty, mighty God. A mighty, mighty God that's able to keep me from falling. I serve a great, great God. See, you're perfectly safe in the arms of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. See, the word of God said, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. See, I'm covered, y'all. You have to realize we're going through some things right now. We're going through some transition, but you have to learn to trust God. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what somebody say. See, God is our salvation. Even when the bad things happen to us, we feel de defeated and crushed by our enemies. But we can trust God and not be afraid. God is our shelter. 
and our strength, always ready to keep in time of trouble. So you do not be afraid, even if the earth is shaken and the mountains fall and the oceans depth, even if the seas roar and rage and the hills are shaken by violence, God will always be with you. I want you to understand this morning that no weapon formed against you should prosper. Even when people try to plot against you, God will cover you. He will always give you a way of escape. He loves you unconditionally. He loved us so much that he died for us. I chose this scripture because there was so much stuff happening to me. And people was coming up on the left and on the right. But I stood fast. And I start calling back some scriptures. And God said, God, you would never leave me nor forsake you. You said anything that I asked in your name that it shall be given. And I start trusting God. You said trust you with all your heart. Lean not to my own understanding, but all my ways acknowledge you and you shall direct my path. So I looked towards the hill which covered my help and I knew it came from nobody but God. So I realized no weapon. Even on my job when they try to come up against me, no weapon. I got called into office this week and I thought it was something bad and I said, what did I do? And I realized it didn't. Let me tell you something. The favor of God is upon your life. Even when you think that people's not looking at you, they're looking. My, my VP called me into office and I was wondering, I ain't did nothing. Now my work is up, so what's going on? But you know what she said? She said, Shirley, don't look like that. She said, I got good news for you. Every now and then we take a look at our associates and we see the good job we're on. You're on the computer. Even at nighttime, we see the hours that you put in. So right now we're going to give you a financial blessing. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. I ain't saying favor fair, but it knows my address. It knew my address. And I thank God because even when the enemy thought he had me, God reached way down and got me. Let me tell you, somebody is always watching, y'all. Somebody is always watching how they can uh, come into value. But I thank God that, you know, my manager looked at me and she saw something in me. And she's told me that. She said, I saw something in you. I see how hard you work. And I want to reward you for all your things. See, what you do in secret, God will reward you openly. And see, nobody knows that I was. I, I stay on my computer so I can keep up with my work because my work is very stren strenuous. Because I do anti-money laundering. It's very strenuous. And sometimes it takes hours to work a case and hours. And I want to stay up with my numbers. But she saw what I did and she rewarded me. But I just come to encourage you all this morning that I want you to know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I want you to keep your head up. I want you to keep reading your Bible. Trust God in everything you do. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come this morning, we thank you right now, God. We thank you, my Father. I ask you to watch over the sick, my Father. I don't know, maybe there's somebody out there, my Father, that's lost away, my Father. So I ask you, my Father, to bring her back into the house of the Lord, God. Let them know that you will never leave them or forsake them, my father. You are a way maker, my father. You will make a way out of no way, my father. You will always give them a way of escape. Don't worry about what the enemy tries to plot against you because we serve a mighty, mighty, great God that's powerful, God. So right now, God, we ask you to keep us, my father, until we meet again in Jesus' name. I pray, amen, amen, amen. I want you all to remember right now that uh, we're going to have our uh, communion service. It's going to be at 11 this morning. And re remember, if you don't sign on before 11 o'clock, don't get on it. Even though the cool recorder said announce your name, don't be announce your name. Because a lot of times we're in the middle of prayer. We're in the middle of reading scripture. So if you don't get on before 11 o'clock, just listen in silence. And later at a later time, we will acknowledge who, who you are. Um, this comes to the end of our service. I pray that the word lay on good ground. Um, I chose this because a lot of things have happened. I just want you to be encouraged this morning. And know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because we want to conquer in Jesus Christ. Trust God in everything that we do. It doesn't matter what the enemy says or does. He just won't work. Tell your neighbor it won't work. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. God will do what he said he will do. He will stand by his word. He will come through. Said no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. It won't work, y'all. It won't work. Hallelujah. This comes to the end of our service. Praise God. Hallelujah.